Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here. Welcome to my review for the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Jax and Roxy figure. Obviously Jax being a beast bot and Roxy being the evil ranger-esque-ish thing, also known as Escape and Usada Lettuce from Go Busters. This here is the figure arts version, which I'm going to be comparing to right now. Since we already have him in here, we're not gonna make him walk off frame and then come back. Walk off, no, but so. Here is the difference between the two. I guess I get of them. Like I said, this was the figure arts version. This is the basic figure version. You can see an obvious difference. Um, these parts here, these little carrot rockets, um, which should probably be going the other way, shouldn't they? Because like, psh, I don't know. Full disclosure, I don't know how carrots work. Uh, uh, but these are accessory pieces, so you can have him looking uh, normal. Uh, so you can see there is quite a bit of difference. Obviously, this has a metallic paint coating, which makes it look more metal and more realistic to the show. Uh, generally, the proportions are a little bit more realistic on this guy. Um, this guy can have his uh, antennas, or ears, I don't know why I said antennas, like he's some sort of alien, uh, but move all the way out, obviously for that helicopter gimmick I just showed off, while these are just on little, uh, I almost said blisters, I don't know why I said that, little ball joints. Um, both of them have movable arms here, this one has little wheels, uh, this one also has little wheels, this one has the extra wheels though, and these are just fake wheels. You're fake news. Sad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, basically the movement is largely the same. Like, this one can also move its head just like this one. But there is key detail difference. I've said it before, I think that the GoBusters Buddy Roid figure arts are one of the few that actually have held up. So, if you can find this for a decent price, I could still recommend checking it out if you really want a nice-looking, accurate one. But I have to say, I do like this guy. I think it's really charming, even though I think it's probably the least accurate proportion and color-wise of the core three that we've gotten so far. I'm just, I'm kind of charmed by it. Like, I, I like the look of it. Um, um, even if the color's not the absolute best. Um, and I, I do like the little accessories that it has. Like, I like the copter bit. I like the carrots bit. Like, this was on the package. Like, this would make more sense, right? Because it's like, the the green part is like the... So I totally did that wrong. It's going to be in the thumbnail, though. Uh, maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But either way, however you want your carrot rockets to work. Like, do you want it to work like that? I guess, like, wait. It could go both ways. Like, it could be like... Wait, I, I don't know. You know, I didn't expect to have to do science today, guys. And then this, actually, this one will be, psh, and this one will be more like, like if you're going, psh, like it works both ways, I guess is the point. My point is, I'm stupid. Just deeply, deeply stupid. But also, I don't know. I know this guy isn't perfect, and I know that things like this are more accurate, and they could have gone more accurate, and who knows, maybe we'll get another one down the road. But I just, I kind of dig this release. I think it's fun. I think it's got a lot of personality. I think kids will get a kick out of it. I think they did a pretty decent job at making it stand out, because it's like the smallest figure um, in this line in terms of both the, the Buddy Roid ones, or the, the Beast Bot ones that are on their own, and the regular ones. So, I don't know. I do kind of like it. I think kids will like it. Um, as per usual, it does come with a uh, Ranger key here, or a Beast X Morph, or Morph X key. Beast X Morph X, um, X-Men, X-Men The Last Stand, uh, X-Men First Class, X-Men Dark Phoenix, uh, Ranger key here. Um, it's probably one of my favorites, just because it's so weird. Like, I find this to be both equal parts adorable and terrifying. Uh, but so let's check out the noises in the Morpher. So, here we go. Or not, you know, you take your time, just you do you. Hey, don't call me cute! Don't forget your carrots, Yellow Ranger! Hey, don't call me cute! Rangers, it's go time! Are you ready? Say, it's Morphin time! As always, it's Torfin Mime. So yeah, I do like Jax's voice. I think it's wep it's wep presented pretty well. The rabbit stuff, it just starts bleeding into it. Now I'm also thinking about the debates people had about whether carrots are an actual viable snack for rabbits. Since I already have the morpher out, it takes upwards of three seconds to put it away. Let's go ahead and take a look at Roxy's. Definitely a meaner looking key, uh, but I like the look of it. I think they did a pretty good job on the paint. Um, her sounds, mostly I was able to accidentally unlock before in previous reviews, so not to brag. This way. So that's what I said, not to not to brag, and then I said exactly that, what she said. Surrender, Rangers! That one we didn't hear before. I can't help that I'm bad and program this way. Are you ready? Say, it's morphin' time! You have failed this city! <laughs> Sorry guys, that's just my favorite one to do. 
Okay, so yeah, hero and villain musical noises. So always neat that you get some extra stuff for your morpher. Yeah, we get it, you're an Omnitrix. Okay, now let's take a look at Roxy here. This is overall a really nice figure. I'm really happy with it. I was a big fan of Escape. I actually really like Roxy a lot in this first half of the season um, in which this is being recorded when that's only the first half has happened. I feel like she's been the MVP in terms of the villains, like the only one really doing a lot. Um, my only real complaint about this figure, well, I have two real complaints. Sorry, I just lied three seconds ago, is mine has extremely loose joints right here. This one's not as bad, but this one is really bad. I don't know if you can really tell, but it almost feels like it's about to fall off, like like someone had put acid here and it's like melting or something. So these are really bad here on that, and that's kind of a disappointment. And also it has those restricted villain legs, which is funny, it's like a carryover from... Uh, Bandai. Like, Bandai would always do that, too, where the rangers would always have full range articulation on their legs, and then they would handicap them for the, uh, the villains for whatever reason. I mean, I, I guess, I think Ryu and Melee had it, but the point is, is I feel they shouldn't have done that with these guys. For, like, the monsters of the week that they do, I have no problems with them restricting the leg movement, because I don't really care so much, but since these guys are kind of ranger-esque, I kind of wish that they had just had full range of motion like the rangers. But, other than that, which is also a complaint of Blaze, I think this is a really nice figure. I think it's a really well done sculpt. They got all kinds of the nice little details in there, which I really appreciate. I mean, it doesn't have every single bit of paint you'll ever want to find for this, and you can probably find so I'm like, oh, it's missing that if you look at the direct suit photos. But I think it's really well done. I don't have uh, very many problems with the proportion. I mean, maybe the neck's a little skinny, but that's like nitpicking. But I think they did a really good job with the sculpting details, with the color actually kind of having a metallic look to it. Um, you get the two um, guns here, Gog and Mygog, or whatever she calls them in the show. Um, two different colors, which is kind of neat. And they're basically just standard molds, nothing too um, exciting. You got the cape here, which kind of moves a bit. Um, you do have some nice arm articulation, elbow articulation, obviously. I kind of wish her hands also moved. I feel like that would really help with some of the personality of the, the gun posing. Um, but decent head and neck articulation as well. Just basically the legs. But I think she's a very nice figure. I'm very happy with her because, like I said, I'm an Escape fan and a Roxy fan. So it's nice to finally have uh, a figure of it. And other than the legs and the loose joint problem, which, you know, maybe I'll pick up a different one and see if I can get it better. Um... I think it's a really nice mold and it looks really nice alongside Blaze. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I can overall recommend both of these. Just make sure, I mean, you can't really make sure you don't get a loose joint one. But if you're a fan of either her characters, I can recommend her. And I know that this guy doesn't look the best compared to this one, but I think he's a fun pick. And if you're charmed by him like, like me, maybe you'll like him. But I still think it's a, a decent toy. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Until next time, don't forget to comment, subscribe. And of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell to get notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.